You had mentioned kayaking. Now, we are taping this uh, late summer 2022, and our folks are hopefully seeing it in the spring of 2023. Um, there had been kayaking recently out here through the concession stand. Can you kind of talk about where that's at just right now? Um, we're we're probably going to be looking for a new uh, concessionaire for it, but uh, we're hoping that kayaking goes on. Uh, and the, ki this, the kayaks were... Um, uh, rented heavily. A lot of people were out here kayaking because it's a nice quiet lake. It's perfect for kayaking and they really enjoyed it here. So um, kayaking uh, is, is nice and it's a silent sport and you can go around the whole lake and enjoy yourself. So it, it's a great place to go kayaking and hopefully we will have kayak rentals this spring too. And so folks are wanting to uh, double check and see if that information has updated. Is there a good place to look for that? Call the office okay. and it's 217-346-3336. That's a sassafras, it's this tall one here. This brings me back to my youth, crush that up. It's, it's just going up to Michigan, there is. Now that I yes, smell it. there's I'm sassafras scared. trees everywhere. Oh, that's so funny. Now, the thing about sassafras, though, that a lot of people don't know is that the bark was used to make a spice that the uh, Choctaw people, the Choctaw Nation, showed all of the settlers in um, New Orleans. And so, New Orleans has it's a big melting pot, and the Choctaw taught them how to make gumbo filet out of the sassafras and that's what we have in our gumbo so gumbo is kind of like the uh, dish that shows all of the different cultures that came into new orleans but the choctaw indians are are uh, well represented in that dish too oh yeah if you look in the back you'll see those white flowers and uh, there's actually one over here too that's called white snake root and white snake root is a native plant that comes up a lot of times after we burn, it spreads and it actually holds the soil down for quite a while. And then other plants start to go and take its place. So it, it usually just kind of, then you'll see it all over the place still. Uh, but uh, that is a plant that uh, uh, supposedly changed the course of history. And if uh, a dairy cow were to eat that plant, the mother could pass off infected milk. Now, there's lots of different versions of this story, but the story I heard is that Abraham Lincoln was dating a young woman in uh, New Salem, Illinois, and uh, the woman's mother drank that milk inf infected from that plant and died, and then that young woman had to move to the East Coast. And uh, so that kind of stopped the courtship and later on, Abraham Lincoln met Mary Todd, and she became Mary Todd Lincoln, and she really pushed Abraham Lincoln to get into politics. So that might have changed the course of history. We don't know. So kind of interesting. Just to think, it's yeah. right in your own backyard. Right. <laughs> and if you look at here, too, you'll see right over here, we see some larger trees with that whitish bark. That's white oak. That is the state tree of Illinois. And those are really, really great specimens of white oaks. And we, we are trying to plant a lot of these in the park over the next few years to replace some of the white oaks because of the absence of fire, a lot of uh, other trees, sugar maples and stuff, actually shaded out a lot of the oaks. So we're trying to keep that going because it's a very important tree to our ecosystem. And a lot of animals, uh, blue jays even, and deer and and uh, lots of animals eat those acorns that come off of that tree. It's, it provides a lot of food for them. <laughs>